You know, the men's team has come to expect championships, and basically nothing short of that. Anything short of that, and they're disappointed. It's, uh, we've worked hard to develop a championship culture, and the athletes have worked extremely hard, and uh, I'm just excited to see how many records they can go and break. You know, personal records, school records, and hopefully a lot of conference records. E ETSU is definitely going to be, you know, the, the biggest rival for us on the men's side. Um, you know, individually, of course, there's, there's a lot of talented athletes in the conference, but as a team, you know, ETSU is very strong. Um, you know, they, they always come ready to fight <laughs> and uh, bring a, a good challenge. So uh, we know that we can't uh, be complacent or else they're going to take us down. We need to, to be serious and take care of business. I think it's going to be really a, a team-wide effort. Uh, you know, I, I'm just excited to see how they come through because I think across the board we're going to see some really spectacular performances. The athletes look great, uh, they're feeling good, they're coming into form at the perfect time. And so I don't think there's necessarily going to be any particular individual that stands out, but I, I think across the board there's going to be a lot of outstanding performances. We kind of do an alternating emphasis. So the, two weeks ago uh, we had kind of a lower intensity, a uh, little bit more volume to try and stimulate the endocrine system a little bit to help promote recovery. And then this, this week, going into the championship, we've been doing real low volume but higher intensity to help stimulate the nervous system and everything. So uh, really help them recover and, and restore from the season, uh, but have them prepared and tuned up to compete at a very high level.